Good day everybody, I'm Rob Foster from South Africa and I thought I would just do a little series about what is life all about, where are we going, where did we come from, what is the purpose and there's going to be a whole lot of uh, little teachings like this I don't want to keep them uh, too long if you need more info feel free to drop me an email and I'll oblige I'll do more detailed teachings but I just want to do this um, as a YouTube video to help young people who might not know what everything is about where, where where do we come from where are we going and what are we here for also um, maybe for the older person who doesn't know and who wants to know and is groping for those questions I can tell you now that no Big Bang caused uh, order it always caused chaos nothing exploded and here we are and I tell you something, no uh, explosion has ever taken place in a junkyard and results in a fully assembled 747 Boeing ready to fly. There is no such thing. In any case, nothing can explode if there is nothing. In the beginning, God created everything as according to the Bible. He created the heavens and the earth. He created time in which to do His things and to a lot a certain time um, to mankind and he created matter which is the world that we see the stars the moon and everything and he created space uh, in which to put everything so he created um, space time and matter and um, of course man fell man was designed to live forever but because of sin God is spirit and he created man in a fleshy world, a carnal world with tangible things that we can eat, see and touch. But Satan entered the world in a body, in the body of a serpent. And he came to tempt Eve in the body. And Eve fell for his uh, delusions and uh, she ate of the forbidden fruit. And God had no other option but to come and zip up a human suit and come and deal with the sin in the flesh as well because he is spirit so that is why God had to come to earth he sent his only begotten son in the form of a human and he died for our sins that we might live we are going to live for eternity in one of two places death is not the end we are going to live either eternally separated from God in eternal torment or we are going to be with God for eternity but there's no end you know if you know somebody that wants to commit suicide please please give them ear let them go to a church or to an elder or somebody let them call lifeline or something because all I can say my friend don't do it don't do it if you're contemplating suicide don't do it you will not um, just end you will end up somewhere in one of two places, smoking or non-smoking, as I lovingly call it. I don't want to go to hell for eternity, eternal separation from God. I don't know about you, but I would rather spend eternity, you know, if you consider our 70 or 80 years that we are given on this earth. They are nothing compared to eternity. You know, if you take your street and you draw a little dot and you follow that dot right to the end of the street, that's almost like eternity and back again about 10 times at least um, you need to decide in this life where you're gonna go so what are we here for we are created for God's pleasure Jesus Christ God's son was with God in the beginning it says in the beginning was the word the word was with God and the word was God and he created us for his pleasure but we messed up and we fell and that's why there's so much sin and destruction and hatred in the world. It's all going to be put right soon. There's a lot of six days for man. Six days, uh, meaning a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years like a day to God. So if you say six thousand years, we are already almost at the seven thousandth year, which means the seventh day of rest or the seven thousandth year of rest. We are going to rest with him. He's coming back and he's going to fix everything and he's going to destroy the, the, the evil ones. And I just 
I hope that you grasp what I'm saying and you know that we are at the end of the age. There is not a lot of time left. You don't have a lot of time to put things right with you and God. So for now, I think that's it. And then we'll get into deeper things. Please send me an email and let me know what, what uh, subjects or topics interest you. And we can get um, into them as soon as possible. For now, bye-bye. Love you all from Benoni, South Africa.